All right, so 23 and then Chief Bobber Dark Horse. The exhausts sound great when you're sitting still, um, but just doesn't really have that sound I like driving down the road. So, anyways, trying to decide what I want to do to hold me over until I make that decision, I got on Amazon and got these Shorty GP pipes i watched a lot of videos i've watched every single exhaust video on youtube about indian chiefs and it's kind of hard to tell like what what something's actually going to sound like on your own bike so you know i figured i'd just go ahead and put these on and see how it does I am probably not going to do the baffles. I'm probably just going to leave the baffles out. And if that's too loud, like whoever said that was too loud. And actually, I just kind of realized something. I think I only got one baffle. <laughs> oh, no, the, the other one's in there. So it come with two baffles. It come with the hardware. The, these are the baffles that it come with. I'm just, I'm going to leave them out. You know, I, I really like that loud exhaust sound. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, after the first oil change, the 500 mile service, I put about 200 miles on it, literally, in one trip. Plan on to ride a lot this weekend, so I'm probably going to have to do the oil change next week or the week after. Um, but when I go to do the oil change, I'm going to go ahead and probably get the stage two cams installed and the throttle body and the injectors. And, uh, then I'll probably go ahead and do the performance intake also. Cause right now, right now the box, the bike is entirely stock and, you know, in 200 miles, the one thing I just realized is, ah, you know, the exhaust could sound better. So that's kind of what this video is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. It's a very, very simple insulation. There's a nut right there. It's 15 millimeter. There's another one on the bottom that's 15 millimeter. They're really easy to get to. Back here, there are two 10 millimeters. Then the exhaust should pull out, hopefully. I didn't see any other nuts or anything anywhere. And then I'll put the GPs on and we'll see what it sounds like. So I'll just go ahead and set this. It's not going to be too easy for you to see, but surely you can understand. You got to take that nut out. <laughs> this nut's got to come out. The nut down there's got to come out. The two back here got to come out. Then you wiggle the pipes until it, they come out. So I'll probably record it, but I'm not going to record it like at a, probably the greatest angle. I just want to get this done because one kind of doing this on my lunch break and I don't get that much time so let's just go ahead and get her done you know I could change my mind when I put these up the without the baffles on there I may not like that sound I might say oh well, maybe I better put the baffles in and see what it sounds like but at least I'm gonna start out with no baffles I'm not gonna do the no exhaust sound I ain't really got time to be messing around to be honest with you I'm probably, I, I've seen some comments where people said to, uh, to reuse the factory uh, hardware to mount it. So these two clamps up here, I'll probably reuse them. I kind of see what they're talking about, that the, the factory ones, or the ones that come with the GP shorties, they look a little, they look kind of weak. But you don't know until you actually... I'm kind of assuming these clamps don't have to come all the way out. I've been wrong once or twice, maybe three times in my life. I could be wrong about that. You know, I've... 
I like a lot of the aftermarket exhaust, but another option, you could do a DIY cat delete and then gut these pipes. I mean, that's the way we used to do it. That's kind of the way I've done most of my bikes. You just delete the baffles that's in the existing muffler and that, that sounds really good most of the time. So, you know, it's just, I don't want to have to pay for like the stage one exhaust and then be unhappy with that. You know, I'm sure they're not cheap. And then, you know, that's kind of like what a lot of people do. They, they buy these exhausts and then they don't like them and they're out all that money. You know, by the time they by the time they find what they like, they might have bought two different exhaust systems. And you know, they're the the aftermarket ones I've been looking at. You know, they're a thousand to twenty eight hundred dollars. So the nice thing about these GP shorties, they're not they're not going to break the bank. You know, they're about a hundred dollars on Amazon. I'll link to them below in the description. There are so many YouTube videos of bikes have this on there. Now one thing I noticed was the description for these GP shorties specifically said Fitz 2022 end in chief. I can only assume that it's going to fit the 2023s. I never looked to see if the exhaust was changed or anything like that. So, we'll just have to wait and see. I do know taking exhaust off can be kind of fun. It's kind of like a... You got to get everything kind of expanded. I think I am going to loosen those nuts up a little bit more. Because I know that once, once you can get that metal to expand, these should just slide right off. So I'll, I'll maybe loosen these up almost to where about out of threads. That's kind of the way I did that one. Still got a little more to go. Still a little bit more to go. There we go. Yeah, that helped a lot, actually. So basically, if you just lift these pipes up and down, like up, down, left, right, you're, you're causing the metal to expand. They come right out. All that people talking about, they got to violently shake and all this stuff. No, <laughs> you don't. Just straight up, straight down, right, left, and pull out. And it'll move a little bit each time. This is basically how you do it. Of course, now I got the washer stuck. Let's go ahead and pull this bushing out. You'll feel it loosen up. Just like that. It's not near as hard as people make it out to be. 
All right, so I am going to go back and use the factory clamps because these do feel, you know, I don't want to say cheap, but they're probably definitely a different quality than the ones that come with these GP shorties. Getting these off though might be a little bit different story. Need a hammer. I guess I could. Good old snap on ratchet. That'll work every time. Mostly just making sure I got the clamp lined up where I want it. The way I want these. I kind of want them like out. Make sure you put the these on also the way that they're supposed to go. Like the nut, the top one, the nut goes up, the bottom one, the nut goes down. That's kind of important. A small screwdriver or something to spread this. I don't have one out here with me. Now let me get it on here and then maybe we can. Definitely going to need a screwdriver. I'll be right back.
All right, got the screwdriver. I don't know if you can see this or not. But basically what I need to do, I just need to spread this clamp a little bit further apart. So that way I can get the clamp to actually twist around on the pipe. Still got to go a little bit more. That's probably closer. I'm actually going to have to loosen this nut up too. A couple more turns. Get this to spread some more. Like that. There we go. Then I'll just use this ratchet to hopefully move the clamp. Looks pretty good. Uh, actually, I think I want to move it just a hair more. That probably will do it. I don't know what the uh, foot pounds of torque on these are supposed to be, but that felt about right. So obviously I'm going to keep these old ones in case I don't like these. I can always put these back on. I could also take and gut those. Let's hear how much different we sound now. It didn't take very long. About 19 minutes, it seems like, and that's with all the talking. That sounds way better. That's what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> 